it stopped, I thought it was going to go. I did actually. Let's worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Completely on fire. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. So this morning, I've got to go and cut a tree down with Dad. It's a shame about this tree, isn't it? Well, uh, yeah, it got hit twice, I'm afraid. It split there the first time. My friend, it's, it's gone. It's gone. It's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. Shame. Well, I've always liked chestnuts because they're, they're, they're a lovely tree when they're out, but uh, they're quite a fast growing tree. Yeah. And I think in the end, you pay for fast growing stuff. Yeah. And everything. But we're part of them. We've got an oak growing here. Got an oak. Yeah, we want to plant lots of oaks, don't we? Yeah, I think oaks are the thing to plant now. I think they are. Uh, we'll have to try and plant oaks in the hedgerows, but that's not easy uh because you need a gap because i think all these ashes uh, are going to die they are they? unfortunately all right so, let's um let's let so we've got to get this down nick anyway yeah we'll cut this one down okay <laughs> You always wanted to be a lumberjack, didn't you? Always wanted to be a lumberjack. No, not no, really. Don't break into song. I won't break into song. Monty yeah. Python reference. Yeah, We've already put a few here, haven't we? Yeah, but um, yeah. yeah, car went through here um, before we had this new fence put up. That's a beach, isn't it? That one. Yeah, looks like he's rooted. It's growing. <laughs> Slodgy. This is not ideal, is it? <laughs> Wet holes. I'll tell you what though, this, this hole borer is great, but you've got to be really careful with your arms. Yes. Flip back Good. if it hits a stone. It's not or... like the still one we had, because that did have a protection. That had a protection. This one just, yeah, yeah it could, it could pull, pull your arms around. But the key to it is preparation. We haven't done anything. <laughs> no. We just popped down with a few odd parts we've got left over. Next year, or this year probably, stroke 22, we're going to do a little bit more, aren't we? Hopefully. Lots of hedge plants. We've got a couple of ideas. I'm sure you'll see that at some point. But we've got um, but we'll get well a lot of oaks we want to plant as well, haven't we? A lot of oaks, yeah. Might, so. put, might put a little wood in, possibly. But we're waiting on... Uh, waiting on grants and stuff, aren't we? Everybody is. Well, hopefully soon there'll be some grants available and we can crack on and uh, so, yes. be, uh, be good, wouldn't it? Well, it's looking good. Hopefully they'll do something. Right, plastic car removal services. But it still won't start. It does fire occasionally, so we're going to have to pull it out because we need to load the base, don't we? Yeah. It looks a bit of a sorry state. It's a shame, really. It's a bit like you then, Dad. Yes. Well, it hasn't been used for two or three, well, a couple of years now, actually. Well, you haven't. I haven't been used for a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, with a little bit of um, TLC. I've, a bit of TLC. 
get it back uh, going. We're looking at then. Well, at least it's out of the shed. <laughs> yes. You want to try and bump it, do you? Yeah, don't Has it stopped? I thought it was going to go. I did, actually. Oh, no. That's... This is very bad. <laughs> <laughs> Completely on fire. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Honestly, it isn't. Once that all burns off, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> Honestly, it's actually not too bad. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go around and get it to the definitely order. Any chance she looks good here? Well, forever? Forever, yeah. Well, she does look good, doesn't she? <laughs> she does, to be fair. And it's a shame, really, that you won't start. Now, why does it start every so often and run, and then stop? It's got fuel in it. Pump's working. The only way you want to put it, it's going to rain tomorrow. You want it in the dry, really, do you? Yeah, really. Maybe the workshop thing. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, bung it in there. We'll have to push it. That'll be fun. Right, it's turned wet outside, so we're doing a few uh, bits on the tractor. The new New Holland. The new New Holland. These are just an... The bottom uh, link adjusters. The bottom link adjusters. The... <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What, what are these called? I've been to the pub. You can't, can't you? Can't go to the pub, no, I wish. Uh, bottom Bo link adjusters. I bottom link them. adjusters on the, on the lift arm. <laughs> They're a bit stiff. I can, I can turn them, but this uh, locking tab is quite stiff to go up and down. Yeah, so we've had, we've had this one off. one off already. I love doing jobs like this. Do you? Well, it's good because you can find a job and you can actually put it right quite easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we had this one off. Um, Clean the threads here already, haven't we? Taking that one off. Clean that one up. And the others are in soak. The thing is with second-hand bits of kit, you're always going to find little bits and pieces, aren't you? Some people probably wouldn't bother with that. Uh, I think it's good because it's nothing worse than backing up to an implement when you're in a hurry. And... Uh, you can't get it on. You can't get it on because something's seized up. You keep greasing in there, and all it does is pack compacted yeah. grease. The threads are all bunged bit with old oh. grease. This this assembly's been put on, hasn't it? Yeah. Whoever put that on, <laughs> you could argue would know that these weren't. You know, in, you know, the body's a bit. Yeah. yeah. Is stripping out. Yeah. But where do you stop and start? In fairness. That's it. Yeah. yeah. We're a bit more individual, aren't we? Yeah. You do it how you want now. Well, it's like the uh, the hydraulic pipes for the uh, the hitch. These were on a different spool. We've moved them over. Now, we we? moved on to that one. We had a bit of an issue with 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 a leak. We've sorted that out. We put them onto there. Sorted out the so leak. It's on number four now. It's on number four. Okay. Cable tied them up there. Took them out the way. Just done a neat job, sort of how how we want them. Everybody's different. How they how they um, how they approach a job to some sort of uh, lots of string on it, wouldn't there? Oh, we just tie that up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we've done that before, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've all done that. We've all <laughs> done that. Bale twine. That's uh, farmer's best. Friend, I think it is an hour or two now on the on this sort of thing. Uh, yeah, absolutely, it's very sensible. Definitely. Sometimes you want those link arms to go right to the floor, don't you? So you want to be able to do that by quickly changing them here or lowering this down. You don't want to be sort of yeah. If they're all move if they're all seized up, yeah, there's nothing be, worse than that, is there? Be swearing, wouldn't you? It would be swearing. Yeah, it's stiff, isn't it? It is stiff. We'll get this off. Yeah, I mean, you, you, yeah, that's with nothing on it at all. No, the cord is kind of there. Yeah, struggling. It's a bit stiff, to be fair. That's not always a bad thing. It's not always a bad thing, no. Do what? Depends on the circumstances. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, do you trouble sometimes. <laughs> I'll take the bottom out first. I don't know whether that's going to make it any easier. Left-hand threads. We're turning it right. Yes. To come out. Right, that's that bit. That is tight. You wouldn't want to be doing this. You couldn't do this in the field. In the field? No. You would... No, you couldn't. That was... Uh, Tough to get off, that was. Yeah. So we've tried to hit that, haven't we? They have, yeah. We'll grind that down. Yeah, you tied that up. You did the other one, actually, didn't you? Yeah, ground the other one a bit, yeah. Which way do you want to go? Well, we're going to knock this off now, haven't we? Off that way. You want to come in that way, do you? Yes, yeah, I'll tap it there. Coming. That's it. Wow, look at that gunk in there. Soil and dust. And... <laughs> Definitely worth doing this. That, that should slide there really easily. It barely goes on. I'll clean that up. Let's get these threads cleaned off a bit. It's definitely a job. Worth doing. Much better. See how that fits. Like a glove. I'll get these in soak. <laughs> they just about fit in there, don't they?
everywhere is just gone all wet and horrible and muddy. Right then, my lovely ladies. Dinner is served. You don't think much of this wet weather, do you, Bear? Right, Mr. Bear. We'll go for a proper walk now, buddy. You good boy. You good boy. And he's off. <laughs> he's a quick runner. So going back to planting hedge plants and trees, I want to plant lots of trees, lots of trees. And I think Dad's right, oaks. We should be growing a lot of oaks. I've actually got a few oaks that we've set along the valley here. But we've got a few areas on the farm where I think a bit of woodland is a good idea. I mean, this arable field here, see where it slopes down there. It's not the most productive bit of ground. And I think it does sort of lend itself to, you know, maybe planting some trees and just sort of changing it up a little bit. We've got another area on the farm over on the other side. Again, a bit of ground that's on a bank, not very productive, doesn't yield very well. So it's really worth considering, you know, planting some trees and not just that, we've actually got a bit of an idea to reinstate some old hedges. And there's an area down uh, the bottom of one of our fields where there used to be a couple of hedgerows. It was divided up into a couple of smaller fields. Uh, and again, we might, we might think about sort of planting some hedges again and sort of bringing that back to how it used to be. We've had a fair bit of rain. It's even starting to snow, I don't know if you can see. <laughs> getting cold. So yeah, thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a nice big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and tap the little bell as well, because that notifies you when I put a new video up. So yeah, stay safe out there, everybody. And we will see you all in the next one. Cheers, guys.